Hey, hello guys, welcome to my video. So my name is Maurice Aizawa and in today's video, I wanna share with you a service that is helping me a lot to keep me organized in terms of my projects, all the systems that I need to access per client. So for example, if you're dealing with multiple projects, you know that probably you need to access different systems, the task manager system, uh, or also the email marketing system or any other systems that you already have also, uh, not to mention the Google Drive and also some other documentation. So how do you organize all of those links? Let me show you a simple way that is helping me a lot because you can organize by tags. So I can create tags by customer. And in a really simple way, I can just type the name of that, that customer or just a single click and I can access everything efficiently without to lose time and uh, also uh, try to search and find that particular link, okay? So uh, let me show you my screen how this is going to work. Okay, so the system that I'm uh, mentioning here in this video is the raindrop.io, okay? They have a, a free plan and also paid plan. So I'm using the free plan right now and I'm going to show you the capability. So basically it's a, a book a bookmark manager. So you, you see here, you can uh, just uh, basically organize by folders, they call it collections, or you can organize by tags. Uh, and you can, for example, if you want, you can create nested collections like that, okay? And you can have everything just in one place. What is good? Because uh, they have also an app, a mobile app. So all the links that you are organizing and using your computer, you can get access as well in your mobile phone. So for example, you just pin, uh, you just pin it in a documentation in a Google Drive, let's say in a proposal, and you want to just keep uh, checking this proposal on Google Drive, just open, raindrop, uh, search for uh, by that particular project and that's it you can find the link very fast in a very fast way so uh, it's pretty nice okay so you can just install they allow unlimited bookmarks okay so just yeah just visit and take a look i will leave the uh, link of this uh, website here at the description as well if you okay so let me go directly to the system this is the bookmark so when you for example you are here in the google what i usually do I have a bunch of systems that I, I most access the just here directly on my uh, Chrome in this uh, like bookmark bar. But as I have so many clients, multiple clients, instead of to create here because it was not uh, uh, being really efficient to organize by these folders, I have now this particular icon to the raindrop I put here. And when I click, I need to access any system. You can see that in a very fast way, I can bring all the details. Uh, here, for example, I'm not using collection. I'm using the tags in a way here below. So if I click in one particular tag, for example, this customer, when I click here, it will bring all the links that I have for this customer. And if I need to access this information, just a matter to click, it will bring, for example, I'm pointing, pointing here to a Google Draw. So I have a flow chart of this customer for this project. Uh, if I want to access the system, I click in that here, it's going to flow to the system. So it's pretty simple, but uh, powerful because it's just a matter to find. Uh, if I want to bring one particular client to just search for the client, it will bring the suggestions of the tag. If for example, you just type the beginning of the customer, it will bring the uh, for example, the tags that you have, just type some words and it will bring really fast. Uh, okay, so what else? If you just click here on the search, for example, go to the all bookmarks and you click the search, you're going to see all the tags that you have. So if you want, just want in one click, click in the customer and that's it. You're going to have all the details. So I think it's really useful because uh, just organize everything. Many times I needed this in one particular, for example, diagram uh, in my mobile phone just to verify one single detail. So instead of to go to Google Drive, try to find in different folders where is the, the documentation. I just open this and as I know that the, I really use this in my daily routine for this project. So it's just a matter to go and find the link and click in the link. So, so, so simple. Okay, so how to use it? How to add a new, uh, a new link here? So let's say I will open, uh, it can be any link. It can be a website. It can be, for example, a Google Drive document. Let's say I have, a, it can be a folder as well. For example, I have this folder, okay, for test. If I want to add this particular folder to the project to access uh, all the documentations of this customer, it's just a matter to install the plugin, okay? Install the plugin of them. 
go to here for example uh, rain uh, drop dot io and you're going to find for example you see here open app or you can install as well for example go to the download you can uh, choose uh, which one is your uh, your browser and just install it okay and that's it so when I go, let's say I go open this context, I have some information. Uh, just you're going to see this icon after to install. If it's not appearing here, go to this uh, icon here and just pin. Okay, don't forget to pin here so it will show up in this front face. So when you click now, you can see the information to access. You're going to see this add option. So click the add when it appears this uh this particular uh screen here okay the options so you can select the name that you want for your project let's say this is the project one okay if you type just before if you type the the name for example i, I type it a p you're going to see many tags with p okay if i, I type it br i will see that tags with br in the name okay so you can just assign one link to one tag that already exists just doing that okay if you want to create a new tag just add a new tag like project one like this hit enter and the new tag is just was just created if you want to add a a, a better identification here you can add for example this is the uh, folder for, or you can see uh, for example contact files you can add any name that you prefer and also the description okay so just point the way that you prefer you can uh, change here as well just add a, a screenshot if you want or they are going to do automatically for you all right you can also mark as a favorite if it's something that you are common accessing you can put in a favorite place so you can just click and see all your favorite links okay all right so that's it only that just click out and now you have this ready. If you click in the in the simple cloud here, you are going to now see the project one. Or you can click here or you can search through this site. For example, if I click here, I'm going to see project one. I can click in the project one, wait some seconds and voila, the link is here. If I click in this particular eye, I can see now preview of what's going to happen in this link. As this is a link, that is from Google, uh, Google my Google Drive folder. I need to authenticate, and that's it now. Uh, after to be authenticated, you can access at any time. Okay, so uh, it's I really enjoy the way that is. Uh, you can organize everything. Uh, you can organize by projects the way that I'm doing. You can use for your studies as well. So think about the many possibilities that you you have okay if you have any questions just leave the comments i hope you enjoyed this video if you are uh, if you haven't subscribed yet just subscribe now clicking the like if you enjoy this video and uh, yeah i will leave some links in, in the description okay if you want to know more about uh, my work and some trainings that i have if you have any questions uh just leave the comments okay thank you and see you in the next video bye bye